how you how you guys started how you guys started wrestling for the few so, that don't know about you so technically i started in the business itself not as a wrestler but i started in the business when i was about 19 years old and i was a manager for a wrestler uh back in the day which actually ended up being my daughter's father but that didn't go very well but over you know about a couple of years it took me time to heal from that situation and you know being a single mom and stuff like that um a friend of mine uh chic uh not not wwf chic not that one um but bia is his name and he actually <laughs> dragged my butt out of the house because i wouldn't leave the house and i just couldn't be around people i had really bad you know anxiety ptsd everything else from that past relationship and mm. he actually got my butt into the wrestling school called showcase pro wrestling and that's in Woonsocket, rhode island and it's an amazing school um i've been going there for many years and i've continuously been going there i've been learning every single day um but yeah so my butt got pushed through those doors from a friend of a mutual friend um which i thanked him every single day because honestly I don't know where I'd be right now um, if I didn't walk into that school because the school definitely helped me heal as a person and helped me grow and be the person who I am today. Honestly, it saved me big time. You know, not only did my daughter save me, but wrestling has saved me in a lot of ways I never would have thought. Yeah, that, that's interesting. I mean, so it, it, it wasn't all it wasn't all bad. It just kind of probably. That was the door open for you to to get into wrestling probably because like i you know i was already around it before i had my daughter yeah, but yeah. with the whole ptsd and you know anxiety and just being around that brought back brought back flashbacks that were very painful but i ended up growing past that and it's helped me you know push through you know the past and you know just challenging myself every single day, mentally, emotionally, physically, it's yeah. it was amazing. And I just kept pushing because it felt good. I started getting myself back. I kept I found who I truly was again and mm -hmm. and more, honestly. Um and I mean if you followed my career since I first started, you know, I was never, you know, Nikomatala when I first started. You know, you can mm -hmm. see the process of my healing process, you know, if you see the gimmicks that I went through and this is my healing stage. This is who I am. This is who I always was. I just, just weren't, was blind to it. So mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> what, what, what was it like, like doing the training and all that stuff? Like, was it hard? Or... So I've been the only female continuous female at that school for nine years. There's been maybe, mm -hmm. I think, two females in the nine years I've been going there and they didn't very they didn't last long at all. Maybe like a month they lasted. But um when I first walked through the doors, it was nothing but men, which I'm kind of used to because I was always a tomboy. I always played rough with the guys. I played football, this and that, you know, so that didn't bother me. It didn't phase me any. But I knew that I had to step up my game and show them that I belonged there. And mm -hmm. I wasn't just some typical chick off the off the streets because that's definitely not who I am. But mm -hmm. it definitely was not easy. Um, and I told them I want to be treated just just like they have been treated. I don't want to be treated any differently. I want to learn just as much as they do. You know, put me through what I need to get put through. You know, so first day we're doing nothing but bumps and bumps and bumps and bumps and bumps for months. My neck was stiff. I was sore. I was all bruised up and everything. And I I literally posted pictures. I still have those pictures to this day to remind me of how far I've come uh, mm -hmm. since then. And then they had me going through the ropes. And at one point, we we're learning how to do uh, go over the ropes backwards over the top rope. And I just couldn't get my butt over the top rope. I would get there, almost there, and I would just drop. And I kept doing it so many times because I wanted to get it bad so bad, so much. I ended up drilling a hole, a burn mark in the back in the back of my shoulder blade, and it was bleeding down my shirt. It was going. It, mm. That's how bad I wanted to learn. I wanted to keep doing it until I got it and I was able to do it. And it just like I was dedicated. I want this, and I still want it to this day, which is why I still wrestle yeah. and I still push myself. But 
wrestling is not meant for everybody. Some people want to do it, which is great, but it takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of like, it challenges you mentally and physically and emotionally. It's not just the physical aspect, it's mental because you got to mentally push yourself through the pain. Because that yeah. ring's not exactly a trampoline, as a lot of people like to think of it. And it's not exactly cushioned and soft and squishy. So, right. yeah. <laughs>